Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and today's video I'm going to share with you 5 ways to use dried leaves in a garden so let's get started. For the first one is garden mulch. Dried leaves are garden gold and very versatile, cheap, economical and very organic and healthy way to use as mulch. So instead of buying mulch from the store, you can shred them with your mower or rake them. And dried leaves are perfect mulch because it can help to trap the moisture in your garden which in return help you to use less watering or water. And during the hot summer or season in garden beds or in ground beds or even in container gardening, especially it evaporates and the water quickly, I highly recommend to uh, mulch them not only it protects your plant from um, water loss, it's also a great way to improve your soil. Yes, that's right. And how can you improve your soil with dried leaves? So, let's go to the number two. So since dried leaves add bulk in your garden, it's a mulch or a ground cover, you can use dried leaves as leaf mold. And you can use dried leaves to make a leaf mold. The so leaf mold is a byproduct when dried leaves decompose. So when it breaks down, so especially during fall season when you have a lot of leaves falling on the ground, you can pile them up and store them in your garden beds or cover your plants. So decayed leaves are super amazing because it's brown materials and it can definitely improve the quality of your soil when you mix it up. Mostly, some of the potting soils has um, leaf mold mixed in it because it makes the soil um, fluffier. It can absorb more or pass through more water and it can absorb more nutrients. I have sandy soil in my garden and I have used dried leaves to amend it and increase the fertility of the soil. For the number three is food for your worms. So dry leaves are perfect food for your worms and you can layer them with dried leaves or shredded ones if you like. Then in order to decompose, be digested by your worms quickly, um, you can um, chop them or cut them if you like. And if you want to make your own compost using um, dry leaves, I made a separate video for that. You can check it out later if you like. Earthworms or red wigglers love dry leaves, and and they are and they feel more at home uh, when you include um, dry leaves as their beddings or covers. So, so when you use the dry leaves for mulch and leaf mold around your plants or in your garden, you are helping your worms or composting worms as well. Worms does not like to thrive when it's really dry, too hot, so dried leaves are great and perfect because it acts as a cover for them and food as well. And if you take a look in the forest, you will observe that dried leaves from the, the trees are amazing um, ground cover for both um, the trees and the underground um, creatures as well. For the number four is a garden pathway. So as you can see guys, the dried leaves can be very useful in the garden. And it's an amazing garden pathway material. And if your budget doesn't allow you to buy expensive garden pathway like rocks, look no farther, rake those leaves and use it as your garden pathway. I mainly use dried leaves as my pathway because during rainy days, in my garden pathways is always muddy and I have lots of puddles <laughs> so there's lots of water there or stagnant water or it can um, cause mosquito so since dry leaves are excellent moisture absorbent uh, there is cheap um, garden pathway very ecological as well because it will decompose and unlike plastic that when it is exposed in the heat you know it can cook down and release those harmful 
um, chemicals through the soil so leaves I dry leaves especially I highly recommend it because it will decompose uh, there on the soil and it's still very healthy and will add nutrients to your soil number five is weed control so this is similar with mulching so when I started my vegetable garden I started with no dig because I don't have time so much to um, deal with weeds so weed will um, compete with sun water and nutrients from your garden so what I do is cover um, areas especially the pathways or around the plant uh, to help minimize the spread since I don't use weed spray or chemicals I believe it's not healthy for the garden it can be harmful when you use um, chemicals because your plants will absorb it and then the wildlife will absorb it and your body will absorb it when you eat your food so you can use dried leaves as weed control in your garden and speaking of wildlife for the number six yes there's are um, wildlife in your garden so by being aware like the predatory insects the bugs the beetles the frogs the toads the lizards and tiny creatures that rely on the ground cover or the dry leaves as their home that are mostly unseen that really helps as well contribute to environment and by using dry leaves you are inviting them to live in your garden feel at home and they are helping you as well and minimizing the population of insects or pests and that's very natural and eco-friendly like really dry leaves this are really a garden's gold as I said before and these creatures will help your garden thrive so there you go guys that's five ways to use dry leaves in the garden if you have any um, suggestion or any ways that you use dry leaves in your garden please comment down below how you have you used dry leaves before and if not if for example you don't have dry leaves you could always use cardboard boxes I've done it and I have a great experience with cardboard boxes the only way there is you need lots of boxes really but you can collect them if you like and shred it like um, dry leaves airway will do is still healthy and helping the environment recycling the brown material is very helpful as well so thank you for watching and if you want to watch more video i have a whole playlist there for you you can check it out or watch the next video after this so happy gardening and see you next time bye